Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Oh boy, it's that time. We are at the one and only Sheps. Sheps. That's where we have our first date, our first dinner date. Of course, that was in our old location, but we're back. And that means I get to eat. So tell everybody what Sheps is and how awesome this place is. Sheps is awesome. American food, it's considered like, I don't know what you would consider it. American food, it's awesome. Best burgers in Texas. I just like that they have a burger where they throw cream cheese on it and all kinds of other and stuff on it. And Fruit Loops and Skittles and sorry. Anyway, I don't even care because I'm so hungry they could throw all that stuff on there. And well, I'll just show you. We're going to go in there and eat and have a good meal. And I'm going to have a Shiner beer. And it's just, it's just heaven. It's, it's absolutely heaven. Incredible. All I can say is just this. Yeah. When you try this place, you'll be like this. You won't be able to move your hands. That's right. Well, or say anything else about it. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's move our feet and get in that door so we can order. My fingers are stuck. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, the amazing chefs. Sure, we could just go around this way. They got a performer, musician. Let's see, sit right outside here. Sit inside. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Time to get my food on, Sheps. Amazing. Let's do this. I'm so hungry, I'll eat the furniture. I don't even care. In their entrance, they have merchandise available for sale. I'm actually buying a shirt right now because it's 20 bucks. And they got this pretty cool entrance here. This is where you walk in to place your order or get a seat. And uh, boy, I'm just excited to eat. Before I forget, they collect donations for Parker's Paws, so without hesitation, I got a few bucks here. I got ten bucks anyway. Help the animals out. They need every help we can give them. Alright, here's a rundown of their menu. This right here is my favorite, the Prez Ball Burger. Oh man, you have no idea. I haven't ate in a few hours. Realistically. Yeah, the match stick. Gourmet hot dogs. Chicago dog. Nuh uh. I want a Texas dog. Well, there's two of them at Kayla's parents' house. Their appetizers, their onion rings are to die for. That's what I'm going to get. I get them every time. No kissing for you, fries. That means no kissing, Kayla. I don't want to kiss you anymore. Thanks. Just kidding. <laughs> so, anyway, yep, more of their menu. Am I making you hungry? Well, I'm sorry. I've been hungry for years. Every place I go to is always closed. I go to all these Taco Buenos down here, and the only thing they got in there is asbestos and ceiling tiles. And, and a homeless person that screams outside of one. Of course they gotta tease me out here. We sit down in here, they sit us down real fast, and then they take the good old time to take our orders. I mean, I know they got like 20 other tables, but and they're very busy. This song, I saw her face and I was a believer. It's about an orgasm. That's, that's really uncalled for. But I mean, their burgers here are too, though. All their food is. Even though it'll be like next week by the time we get it. That's not their fault. That's the fault of them the thousands of people that are in here, even though they can only fit 50. Would you believe this? The guy finally takes our order after half an hour of waiting, and then the minute he takes the order and walks away, another bartender comes over and wants to take our order. That's what I talk, that's what I'm saying, that's service. You know they're busy, but that's pretty cool that two of them come up. So I said, yeah, double up on the burgers, because I'll take a refill on a hamburger and a refill on a Shiner. Good old Shiner beer made right here in Shiner, Texas. It's so cold. That glass is like ice. That is a beer.
beer. And by beer, I mean an actual beer, not that crap we sell up in Pittsburgh called Iron City, which will take rust off of our fur. I think we were using it as like WD-40 at the shop when we ran out that one time. We're spraying the wheels on our little chairs, creepers, holes. You can actually use that stuff as air gun oil. And then it rusts it out. Hey, I need to take this nail polish off my nails. What would you suggest I use? I see light. Thank you. Yeah, that stuff will take your nail polish off. It'll take paint off a wall. I heard that stuff will even help take wallpaper down. And what the hell does Shiner do? Well, it makes you feel good in more ways than one. Because it's really satisfying on your taste buds. And after about three of these, it'll be really satisfying on the rest of my body parts when I can't get up out of this chair and walk. And I have to do the watermelon crawl, like that one song. Of course, if I do a watermelon crawl all the way back to your parents' house, I won't get there till next Saturday. All right, so while we wait for our food to come, I thought I'd show you around this place a little bit. I'm in the bar area, which is a separate room from the main restaurant area and the outside part. And uh, I'll show you some of the cool arcade games they have here and some of the other decorations and a couple decorations that I remember from the first time I ate at this particular location versus the rolled one. And I'll show you that. Yeah, so they have a couple arcade games here, including the Star Wars uh, pinball machine. I love pinball machines. So they have that. A couple cool neons and signs all around. King of Beer served here. Almost looks like an Iron City logo. Dozens of TVs. A great view of the road out here. And they got Pac-Man there. And then here, this is what I was talking about. <laughs> Oh yeah, representing the Steelers all the way down here in Texas. I love it. Yeah, they got things from TCU. They got all kinds of artwork, and they support our armed forces here. The Wall of Honor. It's fantastic. All kinds of posters and artwork all over Caddyshack. How about that? Awesome. This, I remember watching that. <laughs> And then, yeah, since they are called Scoreboard on the one side of the building, they have all the sports memorabilia here. Autographed from the Dallas Cowboys. It's one from the Coyotes. What perfect timing. I come back and look at these delicious, beautiful, sexy looking onion rings and that cute girl right there. Okay, so much for that. Anyway, we got onion rings. <laughs> Thanks to her that I go to this place. This is amazing. So, oh yeah, that's, that's, heaven right Let's there more that's right how do you like that i don't even get my onion rings 30 seconds already they got my burger on a table which is awesome because that's really fast service and here i was discrediting them saying it would take them a week and a half to get it and it took like five and a half minutes which is pretty awesome i mean i didn't even get to enjoy an onion ring yet but look at this delicious beautiful hamburger with fries they got cream cheese on there, and at this point, I don't even care what they put on there. I don't even care. They could put a box of cereal on there, a pack of Bob Tarts. They could pull a catfish completely out of the lake and just slap that on there. I don't care if the barbs sting me in the face or not. I'll eat it anyway because I'm that hungry. The only problem I do have with this place, I have one major problem with chefs. And you know what that is? What? What the hell is this crap? Eat it. Eat it. This needs to be burned. That's what it needs. It needs to be thrown in the garbage and replaced with a good ketchup. Heinz. Quit your bitching. They haven't made this since 1906. That's why it's here. They, nobody wants it. They need to get Heinz. Well, time for an onion ring. I could put one of these on this hamburger. I mean, the last time I was here, I put Fruit Loops on there. I put Skittles, a box of Raisin Bran. I think uh, I put chicken nuggets on there from Chicken E. Shoelaces, dog food, the kid's Happy Meal that I swiped off him in the drive-thru when I ran between him and the car to get it. I didn't get the toy that I wanted either. Anyway, onion ring. You just... just Whoa. Don't talk with your 
Don't give me that look. Don't disrespect the man that just bought the best Christmas gift he could ever get. Food. I love you too. Really? I love you too. But I love food. Now hurry up. I gotta go to the store and get some salmon to put on this. And a bag of potato chips. All right, time to dig in. Have you ever seen anything this beautiful? Holy crap. Mm. Oh, God. It's such a mess, but it's so good. Huh? What do I think of it? Well, obviously, I think it's pretty damn good. I mean, the only reason I'm not eating it is because it's your fault making me sit here and tell you about how good it is when I could be eating it instead. Well, eat it then. I would. I just wish I had some good ketchup to put on it. Actually, that's a complaint I got. I gotta talk to the manager. Well, Right there. You want to see what's wrong with the ketchup? I told you. It's that 1906 stuff. There's a reason why it's from 1906, Kayla. Nobody wants it anymore. That's why it's sat here. Little do you know, Mr. Attitude, 1906 is for how much percentage of people love it. 19,006 people like love it. In the whole world? No. Compared to the billions that like Heinz? No, no. Like the... I, I, That's right. Look, I'll put it this way. I don't even care if it's from Fort Worth. You know it ain't good unless it's from Pittsburgh. Why do you think they got so much Steelers stuff in here? They don't even like the Cowboys in here. They enjoyed them for like 20 minutes back in 1996 or 5, whenever, when they won the Super Bowl. I don't even remember because I shot it off. I was so mad because Neil O'Donnell was throwing the ball to everything but the Steelers. I don't know what the hell any of this has to do with this place, but we got more Super Bowls than they do. Calm down. And that's why they got more they got more Steeler stuff in there than they do with the Cowboys. Calm down and eat, okay? Calm down and eat. Yes, mother. Huh? And people thought I was weird for putting peanut butter and jelly on a hamburger up in Pennsylvania. Then you saw it, that one restaurant decided to do it up in Dubois. And this one puts cream cheese on it and it just melts in your mouth. Who needs a bagel? That's what I'll have for breakfast every morning. Instead of bagels with cream cheese, give me hamburgers with cream cheese. Right. That's right. And why are you making an angry face at me? You're supposed because to be... Because I can't have this back home. Because Pittsburgh doesn't have anything except bottles and construction everywhere. And, and McDonald's. McDonald's. On See? Every That's right. And Taco Bell. And Arby's. And Wendy's. KFC. And no racks, no betangles, no Whataburger. No in and out. No in and out, no chefs, no raising canes, no slim chickens, nothing. Not even a Schlotzkies. <laughs> that was enough of that. What are you doing? Well, they make their burgers really good here, but I'm just decorating my Christmas tree. Pittsburgh style. Okay, so let me get this straight. If it was a Christmas tree, where oh, there's the lettuce. Uh huh. Oh, there we the go. The only thing it's missing is uh, coleslaw. That would taint the burger. Now that's good. And it's falling apart. How was it? Well, that burger was really good. I need another one. I'm offended that I ate the whole thing. Where did all of them go? In there. I need a refill on a hamburger. Now, it was really good. So was the beer. At least they gave me a refill on that. But you know what they should have done? Next time, they get 
I get a Pres Ball burger, they all just take that cream cheese and just put the whole brick right on there. And while they're at it, put some cream cheese in this beer too and just stir it up a little bit. That's disgusting. Maybe to you, but to me. Put some M&Ms in there too. Oh god, what's next? Dill pickles? That's fine. Put a chicken tender in there too. And some paprika and steak sauce. Don't make me throw up. I'll go move across the table. That's okay, I'll have more room to eat all this precious food when I get my refill from the other waiter that took our order. You better be nice to me because if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have been able to come here. I know, but you now would. that I'm coming here, I'm going to stop. Now that you're coming here, you have to be extra nice to me, right? No, because you were trying to eat those onion rings when I said I get an appetizer for myself, and you can get another one if you want one because we don't share. Because I'm hungry, we, I'm fat, and I eat all of them. We do share because... And because you keep making jokes about Heinz and how, oh, in 1906, a Whataburger ketchup is just fine. Well, I never said anything about Whataburger in this restaurant, but we you have to You say it all the time. Try the Whataburger ketchup. No. I thought you liked opening your mind up to new things. I do, but Heinz is where it's at. Why don't you open your mind to a new thing and jump into a pool full of alligators? Bet you won't open your mind to that, huh? Even I would, especially after I have like six of these. I don't think I would like the outcome though, but at least I would do it. I don't know what the hell that has to do with chefs either. Go eat. You're so angry. Yes, dear. Was everything all right? Yeah, it was really good. I mean, that was delicious. There's a reason why we polished the table off until I got yelled at for licking the table like a snail or a cat. But no, it was really good. I ate a lot. I'm very satisfied. And I'm looking forward to our next trip back here when we come back. In an hour. In an hour. That's right. Yeah. Because we all know in an hour I'm going to be starving hungry again. And just like the backs of their shirts say, 80% of arguments start because people haven't eaten yet. And that's right. I'm already starting arguing on the next meal. And I just finished the one that we had. We might as well not even leave. We might as well just stay here. You know what you need? Close out this check. And then get up, go out the door, and sit right back down. No, I don't want an onion. I don't want an onion. You say you don't want an onion. What is this? Oh, yeah, an onion ring. Where did this come from? Were you hiding these on me? Yeah. What is that ranch too? I have to hide oh. my food around here. Oh, you didn't tell me you were getting a jump start on meal number two. I'm proud of you, Kayla. That's really good thinking. I wanted to wait till the dining room cleared out a little bit to show it, to show the inside of it because there were a lot of people in here just a little bit ago, so that's why it's empty. Plus, they're, they're going to be closing in about an hour, so I figured I'd wait till it cleared out a little bit so you could see it so it wasn't so awkward. This is a look at their dining room side where we're sitting, and I think they have another dining room behind us. Yeah. They do. And a, and, patio. and a patio. And they got games up here. Let me show you these games real quick, too. Here's their other bar right here before you go out onto the patio. Naturally, nobody's sitting inside. Why? Because everybody's sitting outside where the weather is beautiful this evening. So here are their games here. Kayla was playing with the basketball game. They even have Miss Pac-Man. And I got a Star Wars claw game. Like I would win. But anyway, that's Sheps for you. All right, he's gonna be a winner. They got boxes in there, bigger than the claw. Try. I don't think I can win it. Not me, though. You never know that. Okay, well that's gonna wrap up our meal here at the beautiful, wonderful Sheps. They were so cool I even was able to buy a shirt that has that saying on it that 80% of arguments begin because someone hasn't eaten yet. That's true. So we're, we're just dropping the shirt off in the truck and we're going back in, right, for another round? I feel like I'm full. The food is good, but I am full. Well, here, here's the key to your mom's truck. I'm going back in. I'll see you at the house. I'll get a ride. Bye, everyone. <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, no, take care. Anyway, take care. Stay awesome. And we'll talk to you later. Bye, everyone.